You hear the music. It's time for KTA Gives Back. Our very own Frank Jefferson is joining us live this morning from Van Zant County. Frank, who are we honoring today? Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'm here, that's right, I'm here in Grand Van Zandt County. And I'm not here alone. I'm going to show you who I'm here with. I want to introduce y'all to the brave men and women of the Van Zandt County Sheriff's Office. How are y'all doing today? Great! Right on. That, that's a blessing. I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to talk to Sheriff Hendricks. And Sheriff, how proud are you of the brave men and women that are standing here today? You know, words can't describe how proud I am of these people who are here and everybody that's not here that work here. Um, you know, we had a lot of obstacles to overcome on January 1. And, and let me tell you, these people have all rose to the occasion and, and rose above and beyond to, to help accomplish those, those tasks and overcoming those obstacles. Yes, sir. And you talked about overcoming obstacles and going above and beyond. With that said, what do they do to take this, apart, this apartment to the next level? You know, teamwork is the big thing. Everybody here is willing to help each other out. We're like a big family. We all work together, and no one's afraid to, to step across and help somebody else get their job done when, when they need some help. Right on. And one of the things I want to know, too, is what's your rapport like with this community? I think we have an excellent rapport with the community. We do our best to keep them informed, just like, you know, giving you guys information when something happens. We keep things updated on Facebook, and we try to attend all the community events that we can to, to, to be visible and approachable to the public. Exactly, and I know the people that are at home right now that are watching, they probably know that y'all protect and serve, but what are some of the things you do within the community that they might not know about? Like I said, we try to attend all the events we can and, and be approachable. The other thing that's really important to me is the sheriff, and I believe to all my people here, is that we're good mentors to, to the youth in our community. You know, the, the, it starts with the kids. If we can build a good rapport with the kids now, when they get older, they're going to have a, a better perception of law enforcement, and it's going to be easier for them to come talk to us and, and give us information when we need it, and, and they can come to us when they have a problem. Looking towards the future, yes, sir. Is there anything else that we didn't talk about that you want to add today? I just want to say that we're we're... we're Extremely happy and, and appreciative of the way the community has, has helped us and, and uh, supported us since I took office January 1st, and we're here to proudly serve them, the, the citizens of Anzac County. Thank you so much, sir. I truly appreciate you. Thank you. Right on. And we want to thank you all so much. We're not just doing it in words. We're also going to do it in actions because we brought them some lunch today, so it's going to be some good food for you all as well. And we just want to thank them. But we can't do this alone. This is all made possible by Peter Chevrolet. And Peters are doing something that they haven't done before. Instead of giving out one donation, they're giving out four. So this is really exciting. They already gave out one to the Russ County Sheriff's Office. So we're excited of what they're going to do next. But more than that, we're thankful for you all for taking your time out and sacrificing your energy for this community who you all treat like a family. Thank you guys so much for allowing us to come out here and interview you. Thank you. It was really great to meet y'all. Thank you. Right on. Hey, I'm Frank Jefferson, live in Van Zandt County. Back to you.